Welcome back, unicorns, to another live video. Um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes for some people to join, and then I'll talk about what I'm going to do today in today's video. So, um, I'm going to share it out first for everybody to um, see it. So, I'm going to do that right quick, wait a little bit. I hope y'all do enjoy my live. I haven't been on here for a minute doing a live yet, so I'm happy to come back and do it. Hey, Lori Latimer. Thanks for stopping by. I'm happy to see you here. Um, this might take me a minute to share some to groups, um, group, groups I'm in, all that stuff. So I'm going to share that. So if y'all do come, just communicate in the comments. And then I'll start as soon as I'm done. Oh, you're so sweet, Lori. Hope you enjoy it. I know it's a little early for some people, but this is the only time I can do it. And, you know. If y'all have any ideas when y'all come of other lives to do, let me know. I know somebody said get ready with me. I haven't had enough time to do that one yet. Um... But I do do, you know, skincare videos. I did an Ipsy video one time. They're all on my channel. So you can go check out my lives after you get done watching this one to see what else I did on lives. Um, I love doing lives. I love communicating with y'all. So that is why one of the reasons why I started doing lives. And, you know, since I hit that 1K goal, that's what usually people do. And it helps with watch time hours as well. So that's one reason, another reason why I do it, because it helps with your watch time. Okay. A couple more places to share it out, and then we'll get started with the, um, what I'm going to do next. Now I like to share it out there, so I have it on all my social medias, so just in case they don't get the notification on YouTube, they have it on other ways as well. Okay, we got one more place after this one to share it out, I think. And then we'll get started after I wait a couple minutes for others to join. Yeah, I usually share it literally on my community tab, Twitter, Facebook, any group chats I'm in, you know, anything like that. So it gets out there because I know some people don't get the notification for it for some reason when you go live. Or their notifications doesn't work for some reason. So I like to share it out to different places. So just in case they, you know, don't get it on there. Okay, I think I shared it everywhere that I wanted to. Let me double check. And I want to wait a couple minutes for some people to join. To, um, you know, so they're not behind. But if you do miss any of this. Just, um, you can rewatch it on, you know, YouTube when it goes live. I really appreciate that. So, yeah, in the days of live, um, let me see. I'm going to move this over so y'all can see, um, the unicorn. Okay. Um, in today's live, we're going to be doing a mainly unboxing, but I am going to do a quick recap of cards I got last month because I only got two. But um, yeah, hope y'all do still enjoy it. Try to do more than one, so these are a little bit longer live since it is a live video. So I'll do the card recap first, and I will link everybody that I mentioned down below if I can remember. 
like me right there. I say hey to in the um, comments when y'all comment. Try to do that so people can know who all joined into the live. And whoever I mention, I will comment. I mean, tag as well when I get to the description and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. So, the first card I got last month was from Maria. I think I opened these when I did my last live. But I want to show them. So, it's this thanks um, card. That's what it looks like on the inside. She did give me some other gifts as well. Um, and then the next card I got is from Kim's Happy Place. She gave me this one. Which, um, is, this is cute artwork on there. But, yeah. So those are the cards I got last month. I only got two. I love everybody's cards that they give me during the month. And I keep them all. In a little paper divider thing folder I was keeping it in a binder bear binder but it was getting too full so I moved it over to that one because I can hold more and I love keeping all y'all's cards um because they're so sweet and I love to see them if I get another way to store them I wanted to do um you know picture album type things but I can never find the right size of the cards because some of them were to be too big so what I've been doing is my tiny cards I get, I put them in the little um, photo album I got from Shein because they fit perfectly for the tiny cards. Um, so that's what I've been doing with the small ones. But the big ones I put in the paper divider box. So yeah, I love all y'all's cards who give me cards and I keep them all. I started doing keeping cards um, when I was younger, like when my family would give, it, give me cards because I just love all of them. And... You know, it's memories and stuff. It's kind of like photos, but like, you know, cards. And I love getting them, and I love that some people still send them out. So, um, yeah. So I only see two people right now on the chat, but I'm just going to get started. So I'm not on here alone because I do have to eat lunch in a little bit. I don't want to be on here and start getting hungry. So the first bag, I think, is my replacement for... March and it's my Ipsy bag and I, as I can see right now it is a repeat bag and they didn't give me the bag for um the month of March and I really love that bag that bag was that bag was cool looking but they said that when they send me a replacement some items might be um not available and stuff but if you know that March bag was like kind of was like goddess themed I guess but yeah since this is my replacement bag there is no card in this but they sent me the I can't remember what the bag this is from but they sent me a past bag that says power moves and on the outside of the bag and hopefully I got some of the items I got in my last bag because I was so excited about that bag the first item I got is a brush by um, Shana A B. Shana B. Looks like this. Oh, it's very soft, and it says setting. But I might use this as blush because setting powders I want to be bigger for some reason. But you could use it under your eyes as setting. But I might use that as blush or highlighter. But this is a beautiful brush it looks like this and I don't remember getting the brush in the last one so this one might be replacements for something else yeah the reason why they said it was running late is because I got some items with some points and I guess that item went out of stock or something I don't know I try to um get point items because I have a lot of points saved up from when I did reviews and stuff but, yeah, so I took everything out of the bag, and I might put this in a giveaway, because I think I got this bag the month that it came, I think. I had to check on my Ipsy bag collection. If I didn't, I might keep it. I don't know, but I know they had two colorways of that one. So the first item, and I don't have any information on this Ipsy goodie, because they didn't send me a card, I don't think. They might, yeah, they didn't send me a card because it was late. But I'll just talk about what I got. I hope y'all still enjoy it. 
So the first thing I got is by Cookie Professionals is the translucent setting powder, and I got this. It's okay, Mary. Um, Mary makeup girl too here on YouTube. You're not really that late. I just started, but I'm opening my Ipsy bag. Um, the replacement for March. So um, hope you do enjoy it. And it was a little bit late, but they finally sent it out to me. But I got the setting powder, and I got this in a past bag, and I'm so excited that I got another one because I really love this powder. It was really good. And it's in translucent. And this is an affordable brand and I really did enjoy it. So I'm happy to get another one. I use up setting powder very quickly. Because um, I do my makeup a lot. And yeah, I love getting it. I know some people don't like getting it. Um, but I really enjoy getting it. Because I love using different setting powders. My go-to is Airspun. But I do love using other types of setting powder. So and love trying out new ones. And Ipsy gave me lets me a way to get it. That's why I get the glam bag is to test out um items that I haven't used. So this one is one I'm so excited about and I'm happy that I got it in my bag um this month for for the month of March. So it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And this I got I got a tinted brow gel. So it's a gel. Yeah, I think it was a tinted brow gel from this brand. I really did enjoy it, so I'm happy to get the clear one. Because sometimes when I do my brows, I just like putting clear um, beside them before, you know, I don't really need a lot of color sometimes. And, you know, I like a natural brow. But this is what the packaging looks like. It's just a gold, and you're not going to be able to read it, but it does say the brand name. And it says clear brow gel. So I'm so excited to try this out, and soon I'll get around to trying out my ipsy goodies from february march and april because those are the three months i haven't tried yet because i like doing um trying out my um trying out my ipsy bag for the month mm. okay the next one oh i just saw mary's comment i need to do something to my brows <laughs> lol I don't even really do a lot to mine. Sometimes I fill them in, but I like um, using. So I got the I Met the Beauty out eyebrow stamp um, from the past, and um, I don't use it as the regular way. What I do is I open it and dip my brow, put my brow brush in the powder part, and then fill in my eyebrows. Um, that way because I don't really like the stamp sorry there is a bug, a bug flying around for some reason um yeah so um that's what I do because I feel like it's easier because the stamp sometimes is too bold on my eyes when I tried it in the past the eyebrow stamps so um, that's what I do or sometimes I just use the brow tinted brow gel to fill in my brows or the gel the clear gel just to set them so the next one I got is, um, I remember, who was it? Jessie from Jelly, Jessie Miller Unboxing. She opened something from this brand, like, I think it was in February that she opened it, or January. And I really did enjoy seeing her open it, but I got, I don't know how to say this brand, but it's the Goat Milk Skincare. It's the Nutty Vanilla um soothing and moisturize for dry hands hey courtney thanks for stopping by but i remember seeing jesse unbox it and she said it's really good but i already have two hand creams so i might give this to my mom because she does like vanilla scented items so i might give it to her but i want to open to see what it smells like since vanilla is her favorite scent, and I already have two hand creams open, so I just feel like she can use it for herself. That smells really nice. It smells sweet, and it's not strong or anything, and it's more nutty than vanilla. But I'll give this to my mom and see if she wants to use it for her hands, since I already have two open, and I don't really use a lot of hand creams. 
because when I do my skincare, I just put everything that I put on my face on my hands. So I don't feel like I need, um, you know, the hand lotion when I got the lotion that's on my face on my hands. But sometimes I use them if I feel like my hands are getting dry. So the next item I got, and we got two more items left. Um, so the first item is by... Um, I don't know how to say this brand, but it's the caffeinated eye cream. So it's like this. And yeah, I can't wait to try this. I love an eye cream, but it's um has caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and green tea. Um, I love green tea and skincare. It's one of my favorites. Like mask and stuff. And it's supposed to deep puffin and brighten. And I don't have puffy under eyes, but you know, sometimes I need to brighten them under sometimes. So I'm happy to try this. It's cruelty free. And once I get, because I have two eye products open, I have an eye serum. I think they're both eye serums I have open. So after I get through those, I'll make sure to open this and try it out. So I cannot wait for that. And let me know if y'all tried any of these brands I'm showing. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'd love to know. So my last product I'm so excited about, because if you don't know me, blush is one of my favorite items. And I'm so happy, happy that I got this, but it's the Good Glow Blush by Complex Culture. It's vegan, um, cruelty free, and I love blush. I love trying out new ones. I need to do another collection video one day in the clutter to show you all my blushes, because I do have a lot. I haven't got to do a collection video in a minute. I've been so busy with doing collabs and stuff. But once I get time and another day to film that I have free day, you know, I do a collab, I will definitely do a another collection and declutter like I did the mascara one. So this is what the packaging looks like. It just has the C on it for complex culture. And this one's the glue. Good Glow Blush, Glow Rush, I think is the shade name. And I think Good Glow Blush is the collection. Oh, there is a little paper in there. And I think it might be a mirror on the top. I'm not for sure, but this is what it looks like. It looks so pretty. Hopefully it's not too dark, but it is shimmery. I love a shimmer blush. I think it looks cute on the skin, so I really um, love a good shimmer blush. I can't wait to try this one out. And I haven't tried Complex Cultures makeup. Well, yeah, makeup before. The only thing I've tried is their um, brushes, because I got them in a past Ipsy bag. Um, I think it was Ipsy. Or maybe it was a giveaway I won. Cannot remember. I think it was my first Ipsy bag. I got their brushes and I still use them. I'm trying to get this plastic thing off the top of it to see if there's a mirror. And I cannot get the black thing off of this. So maybe there isn't a mirror. But let me know if you got this product before and let me know if there's a mirror in it because I cannot get that black item off of it. Oh, they do, Mary. I haven't tried their highlighters, but I would love to in the future if I can get some of their stuff. But I know some people love their items and i could be wrong with in this ipsy brand remember somebody saying that but in the box it has a little seed in it <laughs> so that is my ipsy bag my late ipsy bag from march um so i'll do a quick recap and then next and then i'll open the next item that i got so i got the blush from complex culture the eye cream the hand cream, the translucent powder by Cookie, this beautiful brush that I can't wait to use. I'm going to use it for blush or highlighter. And then the clear brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So that is my empty bag from March. I think they only replaced one item, but I'm not for sure. I think maybe one item or two items because I don't remember the setting powder being on there. I got that in a past bag. But I'm happy to get it again. In this bag. Um, you know, I love that 
powder. That's a really good one. And hopefully in the future my Etsy bags don't come late. Because it was hard to get a hold of somebody that was real to let them know. And the little robot on Etsy was not helping. And then I finally got a way to get to a real person. And then they said they will send me a replacement as soon as they can. And they did. And then they told me that one of the items will be replaced because they don't have it anymore. And I think it might have been that powder and then the brush were the two items. So let me know if you enjoyed it. You love seeing Ipsy on my channel. I really love showing it. So hopefully I do love seeing it. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is opening some frame mail that I got from Lori Latimer, which was in the comments. I was not expecting this, and she's so sweet to send me something. And it is in the Ipsy box. So in the thumbnail, that is not another Ipsy. That is friend mail box. So let's see what she gifted me. She is so sweet. I was telling her she didn't have to send me anything, but I'm happy to get friend mail. So the first item I see, oh my gosh, she found the cutest stickers. Glory, if you're here, these are the cutest stickers. Look at them. They're my little pony. So there is Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and I can't remember the other the white horse's name. That's a unicorn. Uh, I can't remember her name. But Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie are really cute. I really love the sticker, so let's open the card first. And since Laura did give me a card, this will be in next month's card recap. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, I got it open. I think. So I want to thank Lori for sending me this this my way. You're so sweet, and I love that we're friends. So the card says, "Hey." And then there's a little smiley face in it. And it says, hey Chelsea, I found this cute bag at Bath and Body Works and had to get it for you. Consider this box as a belated birthday gift. You're so sweet. Enjoy the mask and I know that I enjoyed our collabs and you're the sweetest, best friend. Bestie ever. Love always, Lori Latimer, sister fantastic. I'll make sure to link her down below. So you can go check her out and show her some love. So let's start with, so ooh, I think you got some of these masks that you're sending me, Lori. So if you do, if you want to do a collab with one of these, let me know. So the first thing is this little card that says, the Lord bless you and keep you. And these are like little bookmarks. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine on you. And be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. These are, I love these cards. They're so, you know, they make me happy. Okay, so let's start with the bag of masks. And if you want to see any of these, if you're watching you and you love watching me and Lori's Face Mask Friday class, if you want to see one of these first, let us know in the comments of this live. Or the comments when the live video goes aired. And we can definitely do them. So we got. Oh I remember seeing her open these. on a, I think it was on a face mask. Right? These are so cute. So it's the snow cute. This is by Spa Life. I think all of them are. Yep Spa Life. So we got the snow cute. The detox facial mask. Infused with cocoa. And it's a little box on it. This makes me think of. Um, my sister-in-law, my brother's girlfriend, because she had a box. Um, well, it's not just boxes, but it was like a wildlife, like foxes, raccoons, all that stuff for her baby shower that we put together um, a couple years ago, or was it a year ago or two years ago. Um, and it was so cute. So every time I see foxes or anything, I think of her. So the next one is called Chill Out Calm Facial Mask infused with peppermint, and I love peppermint. Now I don't know if these all ha these have the anime on them. That would be so cute if they did. They might not. It might just be a regular face mask. But this just sounds really good. 
I love peppermint, so I can't wait to try that one. And these all seem like winter masks. Yes, they are so cute, and Lori is so sweet, Mary. And Mary, I mean, Lori found the cutest um, spa life. So the last one that is the animal theme is the Radiance facial mask, and it's infused with berry, and it's a raccoon. That is so cute. So these sound really good, and I can't wait to try them out. And then the last one, which I, when I saw these, I was like, oh my god, they're so adorable. All these are. This one is the Hydration Facial Mask. It's the Hydronic Acid Infused. And look at this. It's an Easter Bunny in a basket with eggs. So, that is so cute. So, I can't wait to try that one out soon. So these are so cute, Lori. I can't wait to try them. And again, if y'all want to see any of these that me and Lori do, let me know in the comments um, what you want to see, if you want to see us do these next or not. But I can't wait to try them out. So yeah, and I love that she put them in a bag. Okay, so the, sorry, my ear is really itching for some reason. What we say at our house, if our ears itch in it, that means somebody's talking about us. <laughs> so the last item is wrapped in this um, tissue paper. Oh my god, this is so cute. Lori. You know this is the one that she found at Bath and Bobby Works. Look at this bag. I feel like it was made for me. I love the holographic. Oh my god, this is so cute. Y'all always find the cutest items that are unicorn themed. <laughs> Lori, I know, right? <laughs> oh, let me get the stuffing out so y'all can see the inside of it. So it is white in the inside. But it's like a little mini book bag, and I love the little rhinestones on it, on the eyelashes. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Um, that was a great find, Nori. So that is all I got in my friend mail. I want to thank you so much, Lori, for the gift. I really do appreciate it. Love you, bestie. I love our friendship, and you're so sweet. I wish I could send friend out friend mail out more, but money's really tight for me, so I just like showing support, so hopefully that is okay. Oh, you're so sweet. So yeah. And I can't wait to try those masks out. This is such a cute bag. I love it so much. So yeah, that's everything. Um, keeping this tissue paper just in case I do a giveaway or if I decide to do friend mail. But, I think that is all. Um, I would keep this a little longer, but I don't have nothing to talk about or nothing to show. I could show my empties if y'all want to see that. Let me know to make it a little bit longer. But I'll let you know if y'all want to see my empties for last month. I'll give y'all enough time to answer. Because I could show that I have it right there. Um, for show, I was going to do a video on it soon, but I could do it in this live if y'all want to see them. It won't be in the title, but yeah, I could show them. So let me know, y'all. No, this might be behind. Okay, you want to see them, I will show them after I try to get these off to see how, oh my god, that's the cutest, it's like a little mini book bag. Okay, yeah, I got distracted by the unicorn bag. Ooh. Okay, so I do got an empty, so they're not a lot of them, but I'll show y'all since some of y'all want to see them. To make this live a little bit longer. So usually I put my empties in 
a random shopping bag because I don't have like a cute way to store them. And since they're empty, they're going in the trash anyway. So yeah. So I got a couple empties to show y'all. Not a lot, but I try to use up as much products as I can, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So the first thing I got with points on Ipsy is the refreshment cleansing facial wipes and there's 30 in here. And these work really good. I really love them. I know one lady said it was, I think it was Morgan. Hers had a smell to it. I didn't tell a smell. It kind of just smelled like a spa or, you know, unscented to me. But I don't know. They were really good. Um, I had to use two for one, like when I did my face. I always do that anyways for any facial wipes that I use. Um, if I, um, hey, Mary. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Mary Catherine loves cats for stopping by. Hopefully you don't get in trouble, but <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Um, you might have to rewatch the first section of this because I did show my late Ipsy bag for March, some friend mail, and a card recap. So whenever you get time, if you want to see that part, you can rewatch. So... Yeah, but these were really nice. As I was saying, I usually use two facial wipes to take my makeup off. I use the first one to take my jewelry off and then see if I got it all off. And then I cleanse and all that stuff. But sometimes I use this for getting my lipstick off. Because sometimes, I don't know if any of y'all are like this. But when I put makeup on and I have a lipstick on or a lip gloss, I cannot eat with that, um lipstick on I have to get it off right away can't eat or drink with it even though if it is a matte lipstick I just can't I don't like that feeling on my lips so I have to take it off so I use these to take that off after a makeup um you know video after I was done with the video and took pictures and stuff I use it to take swatches off my hand and all that stuff so they're really nice and if I see them again I would definitely get them but I did get them with points and thanks for reminding me Mary don't forget this don't forget to give this live a thumbs up. And then when it goes live, um, when it goes on my YouTube channel, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. And leave some comments down below. I um, really appreciate it. If y'all do come back and watch it. But thanks for reminding me, Mary. And the next item um, I got in a giveaway that I won on Instagram. Um, I can't remember the name of it at the top of my head, but it's. Um, this sunscreen and this was really nice now when I'm looking for a sunscreen I do not want it to have a strong smell or that sunscreen smell I don't like really enjoy that sunscreen smell um and this one's SPF 50 um and I want it to absorb in the skin back and don't leave like a strong white cast but this one was really nice this one's a K-Beauty brand looks like this um i really did enjoy this it didn't have a strong scent of anything like a perfume or anything they added on into it or anything like that or a sunscreen smell it didn't leave a white cast which i really enjoy um so yeah i really did enjoy the sunscreen i wish i can get more from this um brand or another i do have another sunscreen coming that is k beauty brand so that will be coming soon that I got in a giveaway, but when I'm looking for sunscreen, I don't want to leave a white cap or have a strong scent, and I do have a sunscreen coming soon. Let's see how many times I say sunscreen. Um, coming soon that I did had a bad review on, just because y'all want to know, like, what I don't like in the sunscreen, but I always love using sunscreen as a last step of my skincare routine because, you know, even though I'm not, I might not go outside a lot, I want to have that in my mindset to keep using sunscreen so I don't, in the future if I'm out, I know that I put sunscreen on so I don't damage my skin because, you know, sun can damage your skin when you get older. So I decide, since I'm young and in my mindset, just keep wearing sunscreen. So I have been as my last step. Um, so, yeah, that's what I like to do. And sunscreen can give you a glowy skin, and I know some out there can you know, help benefits in the future, 
So the next skincare item, I think that was all this on the screen. Yep. The next skincare item is by Tony Moly, and I really did enjoy this. I wish this sample had more in it, and I wish I had more of it because it was really nice. It's the Watermelon Dew All Over Serum. Um, 50% watermelon fruit extract and by Tony Moly. I really did enjoy this. And the reason why I say more in it because I don't think this was filled up all the way to the top when I got it. But I wish I had more of it. It smelled really good. I want to smell it. It smelled really nice. It glowed in the skin. It gave my skin a glowy look. And Tony Moly is a good brand. They're K Beauty. They're really good and they always have adorable packaging or um really great items and their skincare um that is a great mary she said anything watermelon i adore it that's me too um uh, i love this one about um tony moly that's watermelon i love the perlice watermelon line their watermelon collection is really good and i enjoy watermelon because if you don't know me if i want a scent i want it to be sweet or fruity. I don't want it to be perfumey or, you know, coconut. I don't really enjoy coconut scented items as well because they seem to give me a headache and I really don't enjoy them. But fruity and um, sweet, I really do enjoy. So, yeah, the watermelons are a go to. So, I think that's all I have to say about that one. And when this what video goes live, I'll make sure if I can, depends on what I'm doing after this live. Um, to link everything so y'all can get it. Yeah, Mary, um, you really need to try that. Um, Tony Moly's a really good one. I think, um, TJ Maxx has a discount on some Tony Moly products. So maybe you can check out that place if you want to save some money. They're really good. I tried some of their masks in the past. And that was my first time trying a skincare item. Um, I do have another one that's Tony Moly. That's an eye serum that I've been trying out, so I can't wait to give y'all a review on that one. I'm still working on that one. So the next item is the by Clinique. It's the all about clean liquid facial soap. Um, that's what I got in my Ipsy. Yeah, Lori, the razors are really nice. I really do love them from refreshments. They're one of my favorites. I still have them in the bathroom and then all the reusable heads in there as well. It's really good. They shave really nice. So, yeah. Um, But this liquid soap is really good. I know some people say Clinique is not, they don't really enjoy it. I really did enjoy this um, soap, facial wash. Um, oh, that's great, Mary Catherine. You love the razors as well. Um. But, yeah, um, this didn't have a strong scent. It didn't burn around my eyes. Another thing, if y'all don't know about me, if it does have a strong scent, any cleansers or soaps, like, you know, hair soaps, uh, if it the scent is strong, it makes my eyes burn, even though I don't get it around my eyes. But this one, this facial wash is really good. It didn't burn when it got close to my eyes. Um, and it cleansed really well. It was gentle. It didn't bother my sense of skin, which is nice. And this is my first time trying this brand, so I was so excited about it. Try it out. Yes, Lori, that is great um, that you enjoy it as well. That is my first time trying something from that brand, and yeah, so I'm so excited about it. So, the next item, I think that is all the skincare items I have for your face. So, let's get on with the... Um, That is nice, Mary Catherine. I did not know um, that was your first upscale brand you tried. Um, the next item that I got is a primer, which I am so excited to see this go because I really did enjoy this when I used it. I got it in my Ipsy bag. It's by the Shades by Shane, the Hydrating Primer. And I really did love this brand, trying it out. This is my first time trying this brand. It was really nice. But the reason why I say I love the brand because every time I tag them on Instagram, 
with me using this primer. They always repost me on their store, which is so sweet of them. Um, I'm new to the brand and they're so sweet and kind about it. But this primer was very hydrating. It didn't have a strong scent, which I really did enjoy. Um, this one is nourishing, hydrating, silicone free, and smooth makeup application. And um, I, this was really nice. Um, I don't have any bad things to say about it. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that one. Very hydrating. I love the hydrating. Even though I have combination skin, I love a glowy skin. So, hydrating primer is really good for glowiness and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's why I used it. I did get it in my Pepsi bag. So, that was really nice. The next product is from Perlis. It's the per Perlis Perfect Glow BB Concealer. Looks like this, and um, I use fair, and I'm using light right now. Um, if you don't know, if you're new here, I did get this in PR, which I'm so excited about. But I'm so excited to see this one go because fair was really pretty. It brightens well. Um, it's a good brightening concealer. And um, I work for Perlis, or you know, I'm, they gave me a link of code for them, so I will link that when this goes live. You want to. Um, go shop on Perlis to save some money on your order. If you do use that link code, you get a small percentage off your order. I get a small commission, so it helps out a lot. And any money that I receive from any of my codes that I get for any product that y'all use goes back to my channel. But this per, um, concealer covers well and blends well. I use it also as an eyeshadow um, primer. That's what I do with my concealers because they feel like I feel like they work great as an eyeshadow primer. That's what I've been using for them. This is a K-Beauty brand. Um, it's for off skin type, but it's supposed to improve skin complexion, soften, and even skin tone. Hydrate the skin helps fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, dullness, and other signs of aging, which is really nice. And yeah, I really did enjoy this. So I'm using Fair. It's for brightening, but I'm using light right now, and light is like my perfect skin tone so if you do have like my skin tone if you are like complexion light is a good brightening one fair I mean no fair is a good brightening one light is a good one for your skin tone so yeah but I did use them both ways I use this as um, a spot concealer and it worked as great um as a you know regular concealer but usually I put the concealer under my eyes, on my eyelids, on my nose, um, as like a brightener, forehead, under my, I mean on top of my cupid's bow, my chin, and then anything that's on my face I need to conceal. That's what I usually do, and that one worked really good. I really did enjoy that. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. And the last item is um, a little messy because there isn't oil, and I think it leaked out some. But this one's the Palmer's Natural Natural Vitamin E Body Oil. And I really do recommend this brand. I got this in a box box from Influencer for free. And I really did enjoy this. I'm so sad to see it go. But it says 48 hours moisture. And I use this a lot during the winter time. And it works really good. I used it in other months as well. Um, this one's fragrance free, so it's good for um, all skin types. Even if you have eczema prone skin, that's a great sign. It's cruelty free. Um, so this was really good um, for my skin. I usually used it after I showered to lock in the moisture, and it really did. Um, usually, um, I get dry on the top of my legs, on my knees, my elbows, and. Yeah, so I use this all over my body, and it made my skin really soft, and I really do recommend that. Palmer's, I do have a lotion, which I'll show y'all, because it's right here, that I've been using. Um, I've been using this after, because I used that all, but this isn't the other item that I got, and I got one more item, which I think, let me get it, is right here. So this one's for, like, spot treatment. For your skin which I don't really use a lot but if I have like a, a spot on my skin that really needs a lot of hydration that's what I use and this one I've been using 
the replacement of that oil but these are really nice i really do enjoy them i love them so i wish i can get more of that oil though but the body lotion works as great as the oil it's the oil um oh the oil i think gives more um you know hydration than the lotion but the lotion works is great i think so i really did enjoy them all so i can't wait to try them more so that is all my empty for the month uh for the last month um yeah i really do recommend no oils because i know some people say they're greasy but if you i put a little bit of that oil on my skin um, after the shower, and I didn't really have a greasy feeling, um, but, you know, some people say they have a greasy feeling, I just put a little bit on, maybe like three pumps of it, because only a little bit comes out of that top. Another thing I recommend if you don't really like oils, um, that oil feeling, if you do put the oil on your legs, you can always, um, put pants on like you know not pants you know like soft pants like during the winter time I really love soft soft pajama pants and that's what I usually use if I have like an oil or a lotion that's um that gives my skin a really oil feeling or a sticky feeling if you put those pants over top of it it like you know so nothing will stick to your legs and keeps it all you know kind of like when you put lotion or anything on your feet and then you put socks over it to keep the moisture in I feel like that's what happens when when you put it, your pants on like the soft part so that's why I really did if I didn't really like that sticky feeling or oil feeling on my skin but that oil didn't give that feeling and I just saw that's a great idea too Lori to mix it in with your um lotions I never thought of that should have tried that with this oil since I don't even have a lotion so yeah that is all my empties for the month of April. So, yeah. I think that's all I have to talk about. Yeah, if you put too much, it will be greasy, Mary. But I try to put a little bit on. And if it do, if I do have to put like a lot on, sometimes I put a lot on if I do have dry skin. I just put fuzzy pants over it. Yeah, that's what I usually do, and it works out amazing. And then after it absorbs in, you know, your skin will feel really soft. So, yeah, I think that's all I talk about. If you have any last-minute questions for any of the products or anything else you want to say before I go, because it's almost lunchtime for me. It's 11, almost 11.30. I usually eat around 11.40 or 12. But let me know. Um... Y'all have any other things y'all want to talk about before I go? I want to thank Lori for the friend mail um, and the two ladies who sent me cards last month. And I'm happy to share um, Mary. Lunch sounds great. <laughs> sounds good, I meant. Lori, <laughs> um, hope y'all did enjoy seeing my empties from for last month. And I want to thank AC for sending my replacement bag, even though it's a little bit late and I didn't get the March bag. But I'm happy that I got it because I did pay for it. Only two of the items were replacements because they were out of it, but I'm happy that I got the majority of my bag. <sighs> so, anything else y'all want to talk about before I go, let me know. I'll give you all a couple minutes. And, um... Because I think some of y'all might be a little bit behind. Because I can see the comments or I'm getting in comments late. But I'll keep, I'll be on for a little bit longer. And then um, I'll have to go. So I can make me some lunch before I get too hungry over here. So, yeah. So I'm waiting a little bit. And again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before y'all leave. And if y'all do come back and watch, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. And... Comment down below. Love to hear your comments. Um, I will try to mention everybody that was in this live. Because when I'm editing the live. When I get done. The comments. 
that right here doesn't show up yet. But if I remember, like sometimes I remember everybody. But if I forget to tag you and you were in the live, just let me know in the comments so I can tag you. I love tagging everybody that came in the live and everybody I mentioned. So um, everybody can show you some love. I see you all joined. I like doing that since a lot of people don't join anyways for my lives. But yeah. Okay, Mary. I hope you have a good day, too. Um, so, I think that's it for today's live. Let me know if you did enjoy it um, down below in the comments. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. Um, also, let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for lives that I should do in the future. Um, I know some people said they do like to get ready with me. I haven't had time for that. But any other ideas y'all like for me to do, let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Unicorn Family. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload. And unicorns, always be yourself. Bye.